Hello, Tygo friends and fam. In this quick video, I will cover the installation errors associated with the RSS transmitter, which is used with our fire safety group products with the TS4F and 2F, and what you can do to prevent them. Let's go. So here is the TS4-A-F, which we affectionately refer to as an F. And it also has a, a companion product called the TS4-A-2F. And the difference is this connects to a single module while the 2F uh, connects to two modules. Now, both the TS4-F and 2F require the RSS transmitter for rapid shutdown communication. And we have two different models. We have one that we call the RSS transmitter, and the other one is called the RSS transmitter with pure signal technology. But for this video, I will be talking about the RSS transmitter. The RSS transmitter also requires two other components to be able to induce the power line communication, keep a live signal onto the DC home runs. That is the dual color core I have here, and the power supply. Now, if any of this sounds unfamiliar to you and you're coming to Tygo as a newcomer, welcome aboard. We are super stoked to have you here. I'm not going to get into too much detail on these other components. So we do have a certification course that we will link below. And please feel free to take that course and then a lot of this will make more sense. So in no particular order, I'm going to go over some common things that we see uh, or common things that people call into our service line for uh, that can be totally prevented. Okay, so again, in no particular order, we will start with the core connection to the RSS transmitter. So the RSS transmitter has two different terminals on the bottom to accommodate two different cores. The bottom of the terminals are color-coded as are the leads from the core. And so it is important that the black lead from the core goes into the black terminal on the RSS transmitter and the white goes into the white. Something else that's important to know is if you are only using a single core, that core must be connected to the leftmost terminal block on the bottom of the RSS transmitter. Now that we have our core properly connected, black to black, white to white, now it's time to look at the orientation of the core itself. Now we see the core has a white side and a black side. And it's very important that you always orient the black side of the core to the PV array. And so what we mean by that is this is the black side. So your array home runs should be coming in this direction toward the PV inverter, just like that. Okay, this is extremely important to understand because when you're using multiple RSS transmitters connected to multiple PV inverters, let's say a commercial rooftop, 250 kilowatt system, and you've got all these, I don't know, 25, 50, 60 kilowatt inverters everywhere, and they're all using their own RSS transmitter, you need to make sure that those cores, that the black side is always facing the PV array. That way, everybody's on the same page, and if somebody has to go out there 10, 15, 20 years after you installed it, they will be able to easily troubleshoot the system because everything has been done the same way. Okay, now let's switch gears to the top of the RSS transmitter and the three terminals that you see here. Once the RSS transmitter, the power supply, and the grounding terminal have been mounted on the DIN rail, you must crimp one end of the green and black wires with a ferrule. The ferruled end goes into the negative terminal of the power supply, and the other end goes into the negative terminal of the RSS transmitter. The third terminal is not used. What we see as installers that do not do that, they assume that the green ground wire has to go somewhere, right? So either they don't read the manual or they forget or whatever the issue is. 
they stick a green wire into that third terminal on top. And once they do that, they get a red light that looks just like this. Okay, so those are the things that you can prevent if you just follow our, our manuals and our quick start guides. And of course, if you watch this video, it just makes it sink in. Now, the next video is going to show you what to do if you mess those things up. Okay? We're going to show you what the behavior looks like, what the indications are, and then what you can do to fix the problem. Thank you so much for joining us on this short video. We hope to see you again. Take care.